The instructions provide measurements for installing your pullout, but are not necessary for the install. Please familiarize yourself with the rest of the instructions before beginning this installation process. Install the entire unit into the cabinet and center in the finished opening. Make sure the front plywood runner is tight against the back of the face frame. For frameless and inset application, set the unit back three quarters of an inch. Check to make sure the top of the unit is flush with the face frame. Carefully pull the organizer partially open to gain access to the upper slide. Firmly grasping the upper slide, tap it against the back of the cabinet. The rear bracket should make small indentations in the back of the cabinet. Remove the unit from the base by releasing the clips. On the 8, 11, and 14 inch models, the clips release when pulled to the side of the unit. The clips on the 5 inch unit are pulled forward to release. Remove the rear mounting bracket from the rear of the slide. Align the bracket prongs with the indentation marks on the rear of the cabinet and secure with three number 8 by 5 eighths of an inch pan head wood screws provided. Place the base back into the cabinet in the previous location. Install with four number 10 by one and a quarter inch pan head wood screws that are provided into the four pre-drilled holes in the plywood runners. Reinstall the pullout onto the slides, making sure as you push it slowly backwards that the upper slide is seated properly into the mounting bracket. Push the pullout all the way into the cabinet, making sure the clips lock into the undermount slides. Operate the unit to make sure the undermount slides are working properly. Pull the top mounting bracket into position on the side of the face frame, allowing for a 3 16 inch setback. Firmly secure with one number 8 by 5 8 inch pan head wood screw. Pull the unit out of the cabinet and tighten the bracket set screw. Operate the pullout, making sure the soft close is functioning correctly on the soft close models. Prepare to attach the door by loosening the door bracket set screw on each door bracket. The six-way integrated door bracket provides up to two inches of adjustment left and right. Up and down, it has plus or minus a quarter of an inch, and there is also a quarter inch of tilt adjustment. Attach the door with the four number eight by five eight inch pan head wood screws and adjust as necessary. Adjust the shelves by moving the shelf pins to your desired heights. Today we're here in our product and performance lab. I'm going to give you a couple of installation tips on installing the BPO2. Uh, first thing that we want to talk about is the actual level of the unit up and down. To demonstrate this issue, I have shimmed the rear of our unit with a quarter inch shim. We really want to check it across this way and if the top of this unit is sticking out so far, you'll see that it, it has a tendency to, to want to, gravity wants to work against you as you can see in, in the actual uh, install process. The soft close is still pulling it closed, but gravity is kind of working against you. So we want to make sure that that unit is actually level. If necessary, you may need to add some shims under the front to build up the front just a little bit to make sure that you've got this unit level. All right, the next tip we want to talk to you about is the actual proper way to make sure that the self-indexing bracket marks the back of the bracket appropriately. Again, as you saw in the install video, but let me take this off to show you again. You can see these prongs that are built in. 
that helps us to self-index this unit to make it quick for the install. But we have noticed that some are pulling the unit all the way out when they're doing this. Just the weight of the unit will have a tendency to push the back of the slide up. So it's, more, it's important that we only pull this about halfway out when we do our tapping motion and, and pick up our self-indexing locations. All right, this next installation tip is probably one of the most important to get across to you today. And um, it, it has to do with the slides and how the unit can be pinched. And when it pinches, then the self-close doesn't want to work properly or the unit doesn't want to roll or the soft close may not pull the unit in all the way. We can think about it like this. This is really a drawer box that's been turned up vertically. And if we think about it like that and we put end up during our install, if our bracket is too low in the back, it creates a pinching situation and then the unit doesn't really want to flow nice and go to the back. So I would recommend maybe just putting the one center screw in to start with and then moving your unit back and forth a little bit, finding that sweet spot, then tighten down that center screw and then come back and put in your other two screws to get it locked down and it will flow much better. All right, so we're a little bit pinched here. So let's loosen this screw up. Let our unit flow a little better here. And then we'll come back in, tighten this down. And now you can see that it will flow back in because we've resolved that pinching issue. Okay, we're about ready to talk to you about this set screw. Just good little tip here. It's easiest to deal with that set screw if we go ahead and just remove that top removable shelf. All right, and once again, another tip, and it again has kind of to do with a pinching situation. Um, the, the set screw that is underneath here that controls basically and helps us to take out our wiggle. Um, we've seen out in the field where some of the, the guys are trying to straighten this up, basically level it from top to bottom to try to have a real nice gap. I'm going to just to demonstrate this, I'm going to actually push this over uh, a little bit further. But if we were to tighten it up in this position, we're now creating a bind from side to side. And again, the unit does not want to roll smoothly. It, 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 you can, it's difficult to operate. So the best technique here is to make sure this set screw is good and loose. Unit, unit's moving back and forth. Just let the unit find its natural up and down. It's been designed to have enough clearance to fit in the opening from side to side. And once it finds that natural position, then we go ahead and tighten our set screw down at that point. And nice, smooth operation, soft close engaging. Okay, and the last tip that I want to give to you is on our side front bracket here. You can tell that we have a slot. We want this to also have adjustability if necessary. But we have found in our own testing in the lab that the closer that you can get this screw to the top, the, the more successful you will be at taking the actual wiggle out of the unit. So if you want to just bear and keep that in mind, you may even want to add two screws, but at least the one screw that's provided, if you'll keep it closer to the top, that will help with uh, taking out the wiggle. All right, I hope that these installation tips that we've given you today will be of help to you in your install of the no wiggle base pullout.